This is Mommy and Me workout number two. So this is intermediate level exercises. So make sure that you start with beginner, work your way up to intermediate, and then go on to the advanced. The first exercise I'm going to demonstrate is the walkout plank. So this has many levels of what you can do. This is done without your child, or you can lay your child on the mat in front of you and walk over him or her as you perform the move. So you start from a standing position at the edge of your mat. From here, you want to roll the chin and the back down, and you can bend your knees so that you can place your hands firmly on the mat, and then you want to walk yourself out into a full plank position, and that might mean you might have to drop down to the knees as a modification. Here is where your child can be placed underneath you, and you can make faces at them and engage them in the activity. The idea is to hold the plank for a count of one, two, three, and then walk yourself back up, trying to keep your legs as straight as you can until the end, and then unroll. So we're going to repeat that four more times, starting with the head and neck, rolling down, walk out, hold one, two, three, and then bring yourself right back up, walking your hands back into the feet, and then unrolling the body. Rolling down, hands come to the mat, walk out, squeeze the muscles, two, three, walk it back up, unroll the body, take a nice deep breath in, exhale and down, walk it out, squeeze, two, three, walk it back up, unroll the body, nice deep breath in, exhale, roll down, and come back out for one, two, and three. Exercise again is done with your child placed on the mat in front of you, underneath your chest or your face. We're going to be doing push-ups. I'm going to show you two different modifications of the push-ups, just like in the plank. So you'll go from your plank right into the push-ups. So starting here, we're going to perform five. You want to keep the hands right under the shoulders, Exhale, as you go down, inhale, and up. And down, up. The modification here is to, of course, drop down to the knees, making sure you still have that nice long line from the head all the way down through the tailbone and down to the knees. And down, up down, two, down, three, down, four, and down, five. Remember here, proper form is with the hips down. We don't want to end up in a table position. So remember to keep the hips down and the abdominal muscles engaged. Exercises performed standing with the child directly in front of you. You can hold your child right up against your body or you can hold them a little bit farther away if you want to increase the challenge. The legs are wider than hip width, toes are pointed out slightly. We're going to squat, keeping the shoulders and the chest upright as well as your child, and then come on up and balance up on one leg. Squat down and balance up. Squat down and balance up. Down and up. Remember, after pregnancy, especially if you are breastfeeding, your joints are much have much more laxity to them, which means that they move around a lot more. They're not quite as tight as they were before pregnancy. So balancing and practicing balancing is a really good way to strengthen your body. If you do not feel comfortable doing the balance with your child, you can simply squat down and just come up to the toe, leaving the foot on the ground. So here's the modification. And we'll do one more to each side. Down, up, down, and up. One of my favorite exercises that you can do with your child is a deadlift and twist. Normally a deadlift can be performed with knees bent 
or with legs straight, depending on which area of the body you'd like to target. So with this one, we're going to keep just a slight bend in the knee and keep the back nice and straight. So with your child, you're going to just come down to the ground like you're going to place them on the ground and then come up and twist them and put them right on your side, just like you were going to pick them up and put them on your side and carry them. But then we come right back down to the middle and then we twist to the other side. So the movement. this movement you can always rest by just placing your child on your hip and holding him here for one or two breaths as you then regain and come back to the other side. Down and up, down and up. So again we're using the knee bent technique here. If you would like to put a little bit more challenge in the lower back you can keep the legs a little straighter. That is going to be the more challenging movement and also more challenging if you've got a heavier child. So keep that in mind. And one more to the other side. Down and up. Our next exercise performed with your child is a step out wide lunge. This is an exercise that is more advanced and it definitely requires a lot of core stability and balance. So if you find that this is too challenging to do right away with your child, then go ahead and place them on the floor until you get the movement. We're going to take a step out at about a 45 degree angle with our left foot and then we're going to bend the knees and come straight down so that our shoulders stay upright over top of our hips and then we'll come back up and step back. And then repeat on the other side, down and up. I find that this exercise is really easy to get moms into the proper position when holding their child because you have to hold them right up against you. So you keep those shoulders right over top of the hips in the proper alignment. The modification here is to just step with no lunge and then just step back and then step back out onto that 45 degree angle and then bring it back. So the modification here, if you don't feel comfortable lunging down to the ground or if you just don't feel that you're strong enough yet and you want to work your way up to it, step out and then bring it back in. You can also step and then come back and regain your balance in between and if you need to step and then step step and step back in to just get your balance as you move through the exercise that is okay as well Jump. Down. we'll do two more on each side down. Up. Down. that's one So we're going to come back down onto the ground for our V sit and twist. You're going to set up with your tailbone on the ground, knees slightly bent, and your heels on the ground. You can use your child here as the weight in front, and we're going to just take them from side to side, touching the feet down as you go. To increase the challenge, you can lean back a little bit more engage your hip flexors and lower abdominal muscles more. You can also practice taking one foot off the ground and then the other foot off the ground. Remember, while you're doing this exercise, you want to keep the back nice and straight. And if you find that you start curving the back, just relax, take a couple of deep breaths, and then go ahead back into the movement. Two more to each side. And two, two. Our next exercise is going to be the supine chest press. Supine meaning down on your back. 
So when we get into position, you want to lay down, but keep your knees bent. That helps support the back, especially at this stage in the game. We still are building all of our weaker muscles, especially the trunk muscles, which have been stretched out and in different positions for the last nine months of your life. So we'll take the baby up over top of us, and from here, you'll just push her up and down, up and down. This is a great exercise to help work the arms, particularly the triceps, but what's great about this is it keeps your shoulders flat on the mat. A lot of times, the positions that we're in as new moms forces us to round the shoulders as we're carrying our child and doing a lot of movements in front of us. So this helps to remind you to put the shoulder blades back and push them into the mat. Two more. Up, down, and last one. And down. Now we'll go into the supine frog press. So depending on the size of your child, that determines where you will hold them during this exercise. Very similar to our last exercise, we're going to come onto the back with the knees bent. Now if your child is large enough, you can put them on your feet. If they're still quite small, they like to sit right here on your belly. It helps to engage the abdominal muscles. And from here, head can stay back and you're going to just squeeze and straighten the legs and then open up the knees just like you were making frog legs and then squeeze and back up. So open, squeeze and up, open, squeeze and up. And as you squeeze and push those legs up, you wanna try and get a perpendicular angle to the ground or a 90 degree angle. And squeeze the thighs together, keeping the lower back pushed down towards the ground to help keep your abdominal muscles engaged and keeping those shoulder blades on the back of the mat. And with the four more, open and squeeze. Open, two, open, three, and open for four. Our next two exercises are more for core strength and abdominal strength and can be done without your child. Hopefully they're very content and they've been fully exercised by now. So the first one is a fold up and I'll show you several modifications as this can be very challenging. We're down on our back. Full modification is going to be arms up overhead, legs at about a 45 degree angle or lower. Exhale, fold all the way up, inhale, down. challenge of this exercise is as you go down, you want to try and keep that lower back pushed down towards the ground so that it doesn't rise up away from the mat and you want to keep in, engaging the abdominal muscles. So the knees can bend to decrease the challenge. Exhale, bring the knees in, inhale and out. Also, you can work on one leg at a time, bringing up. And full modification. One more. Good job. Our last exercise is called a reverse crunch, and it can be done many ways, but we're gonna go ahead and do them off of our hands today. So we'll start in that plank position, the same plank that we started with, and from here, we're gonna push ourselves back as we bend our knees, and then come right back into plank. So the knees bend and stay close to the ground, and then we come back into plank. So knees bend, stay close to the ground, and then back. So we're using those abdominal muscles to pull our hips back towards our heels. And we'll do three more. Two. And three. Great job. 